Hey guys, so if you're all wondering about this summer tournament, what's coming up, it will be starting in the 1st of May and sign-ups will be taken 20th of April. And I'm making this as I go along, by the way, I haven't rehearsed the video, so, you know, if I miss out any details, you know, just let me know in the comment box or in-game or wherever. So yeah, basically, there's going to be a three weeks long tournament and this is mainly just to try the new EOC update, which is basically, if some of you don't know, it's uh, we have a lot of members' abilities that are free to play now. In my opinion, it's a bit overpowered as, you know, everyone can just hit massive amounts of damage on you now. And in non-food fights, personally, I think that anyone can win, really, if you know what you're doing with the abilities and you know what the abilities do. But that's just my own opinion, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion on it. I do think food fights are more legit because you get more you get more opportunities to mess around with your abilities then and work out your combos and things like that. But I'm not going to go too much into it because I just sound like a proper sad cunt. Yeah, the tournament this time will not be fighting by groups and the reason why is because with the group fights it's so hard to get everyone together and get them all on at the same time basically. So this time it's going to be fight by rank and if you guys don't know what that is because I've done it before in my previous tournament it's basically when you will basically be ranked in a friends chat. Every single fight you do is best of three and whoever wins it, they go up a rank and if you lose, you get de-ranked. I won't really worry about your rank because it doesn't necessarily mean that someone's doing better than you just because they have a higher rank than you. It just means that they've won more fights in a row than you. So this is how it's going to be. You'll be able to fight anyone in the friends chat who is the same rank as you or one rank above you or one rank below you. You won't be able to fight the same guy twice, so don't worry about that. You'll be fighting everyone in a non-food fight and a food fight. We're doing six fights all together. So you won't be fighting everyone, I guess, but you'll be fighting most of them. As long as you get your three non-food fights and three food fights done, that's all that matters. And then at the end of the week, uh, some of you will be eliminated and some of you will move on to the next week, depending on your scores. On week two, on the weekend, we'll also have a knockout fight on the weekend where anyone can go out. You guys have seen that before. Some of you like it, some of you don't. Well, I like it because it just makes everyone fucking, you know, shit himself. So let's see how that goes. And week three is just going to be the same as week one, where you're just going to fight through the week. And by the end of the week, the four people with the highest points will be fighting for the top four and for the prize of 100 mil. Only one prize this year and only one winner. And the reason why the prize is so shitty this year, basically, well, to some people, 100 mil might be good, but we all know it's not as good as things like sand hats or Halloween masks or anything else I give out normally in tournaments. But the reason why the prize, prize is so low is because... It's a new ERC and not many people are probably going to join this tournament because a lot of breeders have quit or just gone to do something else recently, I've noticed. Oh, that's what I've been told anyway. So we'll see how many people I manage to pull to this tournament and I'll see you guys there. Yeah. Hey.